Hello everybody, I'm Boaz Feiler. I'm an evolutionary astrologer and I'm here with the evolutionary astrology message for the week between the 15th and the 22nd of June 2019. So how is the sky treating you? Well, we are in a very warm time astrologically. The sky is intense and it's going to get more intense over the next week. It is one week across this year that I can ask you to be more aware of aggression, of militarism, of an ideology that crosses the boundaries of good taste and good conduct, of a heated rhetoric, of um, intensivity that burns everything it touches. There's one week that I would ask you to be more aware of these traits in yourself, in your life, both per personally and in the, uh, um, you know, the general uh, public uh, uh, arena. This is it. Because we are heading into very intense configurations next week. We have an intensifying of energy up to Monday where we have a full moon in the 25th degree of Sagittarius a full moon that demands us to understand better to heighten our wisdom to learn how to communicate and overcome different cultures and different ideologies and different uh, uh, um, viewpoints in order to receive an understanding that is more holistic this is the light in the configurations in the celestial sphere this is what calls for a broader understanding but everything else that is happening in the sky is extremely conflictual historically it has been a time that conflicts would erupt that war god forbid would erupt and we can see the intensifying tension in the persian gulf between the united states and iran we can see the heating again of the borders around israel we can see how um struggles between different ideologies is being heightened and we have to be aware that we are all swimming in the same energetic soup, so to speak. We are all affected by this, no matter how aware or evolved we are. Right, Georgia? She's sleeping by the camera. You know, you're very passive. And if there's one thing I tell people not to be over this time, is passive. You have to struggle for what you believe in right now Georgia and we all do if there's one advice that I advise you not to do over the past over the next week is be passive because then all that conflictual energy that demands us to take action deep transformative action in our life to deal with the struggles and challenges that we are facing that once was was perceived by us as this glass ceiling we could never climb on top but now that intense energy can help us move that locomotive up a mountain it never scaled before and actually transform transform itself into something different and greater by the understanding that what limited it once does not limit it anymore so it's a very powerful, intense, transformational week as well. But if we're passive, Georgia, if we're passive, um, Georgia's 15, by the way, you know, she's not a young girl. So she's allowed to be passive. But over this week, uh, Georgia, um, physical activity, although watch and be more careful with yourself while going to the gym or on the roads or working at home because it's an accident-prone time. So don't overdo it but passivity is not advised because then all that energy doesn't have somewhere to vent itself to so physical activity is amazing anything that is not too dangerous not too extreme 
not involving anything risky, but can still utilize your energy if you're in a new relationship or in a relationship in general. Sex can be amazing over this week. Okay, it could be very intense and transformational. And going into the 50 shades of 100 shades of 1000 and two shades of whatever can be very good over this week as well. Saying that, if you are too passive, if you don't let that rhetoric out at all because you're afraid of the anger it might produce, you can build up a, a medium to a large sized volcano inside of you over this week that is expected to erupt at the most horrible time. You know, that volcano intact, two different things. <laughs> Not speaking the same language. It would erupt in the worst possible time in your life. And guess what? When it blows, it blows, mama. So, venting things out, venting that energy out, being active towards what you believe in, what you need, transforming yourself, growing up and maturing and taking responsibility. That's an amazing week to do that. But we all have to be much more aware of the judges within us, the interrogators within us, Pluto, the inquisitors within us, Pluto opposition Mercury, <laughs> conjunct Mars on the nodes, you know? And Pluto conjunct Saturn on the nodes. So, you know, the nodes, they're energetic gateways. They're the cross points of two very important uh, uh, cycles. One is the, is the uh, course of the Earth around Sun, and one is the course of the Moon around Earth. And at this meeting points, when the lights come to these meeting points, we have eclipses. That's why in ancient times they were considered portals of importance and when any planet, uh, any planet aligns itself with these two points it's like attaching it to neon lights in our lives so we really have to be careful not to be too judgmental with ourselves or others in our personal lives as well not to have heated rhetoric rule our actions and, and thoughts you know not to be cruel with our words not to be revengeful not to be too stingy with what we say. To step away and look at things from above over this week. And to be more careful because the damage we can inflict, God forbid, can be intense over this week. And, and the, the damage that could be inflicted can be as well. And as I said, if we want to harness this energy, we need something of essence, of value, of authenticity to us to fight for, to struggle to achieve. You know, don't, this is the week to actually prove to yourself how strong you might really be um, if, if you push through that glass ceiling in your life, in your personal lives. If you want to understand more where it sits, Look at where the 22nd degree of Capricorn and uh, uh, Cancer sit in your chart and what they're aspecting, in which houses. So you know the area of your life that is affected. So if I go over this week, just to talk about things a minute over the weekdays. So on Monday the 17th we have this uh, uh, full moon in the 25th degree of uh, Sagittarius that we talked about before uh, requesting really to overlook sectorialism and see things in the broader scheme of things to understand a wider wisdom a global wisdom that transcends cultures and boundaries and then Tuesday already the energy comes down and becomes a lot more conflictual and frustrating you know, the, the energy, the vibe becomes much more low and intense. And Mercury conjuncts Mars. The next day, Wednesday, Mercury opposes Pluto. The next day, Mars opposes Pluto. On Thursday, the 20th, and on Friday, 
uh, the sun goes into the sign of cancer, making us happy birthday, by the way, all you cancer uh, people, I love you. Um, and as you might well know, cancer people are very sensitive and melodramatic, and they need the comfort of home and the sense of family and belonging more than others do, usually. And that's what they appreciate, even when they meet a new person. When the sun is in cancer, we all become a little more like those cancers that we know, you know. So, being direct and giving people a comforting feeling of belonging, of a home, would be appreciated much more than cold, uh, harsh uh, professionalism from Friday onwards. Saturday the moon is in Pisces, trining the sun, wonderful day to enjoy the arts, to go to the theater, to see a good movie, to be passive in the sun, you know, just uh, bumming yourself in the sun or in nature and just enjoying yourself, you know, enjoying yourself and relaxing a little. So that's about it. We're still looking for someone to join us for our advanced online uh, uh, evolutionary astrology group. We need one more person or two if, if we must, you know, but we're looking for you. So contact me if you want to join us. And there's an English beginners group, online group that is starting in July as well. If you want to join, let me know. So have a beautiful week. May it be amazing for all of us, transformational for all of us. May we climb upon a summit we never believed our feet would ever touch. May we live long and prosper. Bye-bye.